Welcome to my channel and today we're going to be making an absolutely delicious bourbon chicken recipe. Now, I know you probably see a lot of ingredients in that description, but don't be alarmed. It's very simple. I'm going to show you just how easy it is. Now, let's go to our ingredients. Now, what we got is some ginger and then we got some garlic. So, I'm going to be working with these ingredients first because we're going to be dealing with some raw chicken. And this recipe is going to go fast, so I want to go ahead and get this, you know, done up first. So while we get this minced up, I can go ahead and tell you if you want to use like garlic paste and ginger paste, that'll make it a lot easier. But for me, you know, I like cutting things. But this just makes it fun in the kitchen, you know, when you get the cut and you get the, you know, minced stuff up. We're just going to put this to the side and then we're going to go ahead and prepare that chicken. We're going to be using chicken thighs. Well, you can go with breast if you like. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get, you know, some of this excess fat removed from this chicken thigh. We're gonna trim this up, you know, just a little bit and remove some of that excess fat, right? So we'll hit the sides. Now we got about three pounds of chicken thighs, right? So with this, you know, we're just gonna do one and then you can follow the same steps for the rest, right? So we got some saran wrap and then we just wanna flatten this chicken thigh so it's even. So when we put it on that pan to sear, all this will cook you know, at the same time, at the same rate. Got everything uniform, just like so. Then you in the game. Fam, so we gonna season this chicken. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep the seasoning easy and simple. So we going in with some garlic powder. And then we are gonna hit it with some onion powder. Now, I normally use crushed black pepper and I crush it myself. But I'm just gonna go ahead and use the ground pepper just so I don't have to change my gloves or wash it out, right? We're gonna hit it with some smoked paprika. Now we're gonna do this to the other side and then we're gonna be ready to go once we get our pan heated up and we're gonna sear these bad boys and we're gonna be in the game. Fam, so we got that pan heated up and it's ready to go. So we gotta sear this chicken. So we're going in with our chicken right and we're gonna put it in this pan now i'm working with a medium heat i got some olive oil and i'm gonna tell you those seasonings with that smoked paprika it's going to give it a nice golden sear now you want to be patient and then just let that pan do its work right now when you turn it over it's going to look just like this that thing looks absolutely amazing nice and golden you got a perfect sear right there Fam, now you seen that sear, that sear was absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, if you never cook with stainless steel, you gotta be patient with it, right? So when it's ready to release, that meat will release for you. If it's not coming off that pan, then it's not ready. And the key is you gotta have it at the right temperature. So don't go too high. Always work with a medium heat and then you can flex from there, right? Now you seen that chicken, it looks absolutely delicious. We are gonna finish cooking it. We're gonna be in the game. And now we gotta make this bourbon sauce. And we got rice wine vinegar. We got some light brown right. sugar. And then we're gonna hit it with some light soy sauce, a cup of water, a half cup of broth. Now we're going in with some apple juice. And then we got some ketchup. We're gonna hit it with some onion powder. And so to pack a little punch, we're going in with some red chili flakes. And then lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add about a fourth of a cup. A bird. And then we'll whisk that up. And then you and the gang up here, we just want to get these cut into bite sized chunks. And these are some nice, tender pieces of thighs. And look at that right there. That's a good juicy piece of chicken right there. All right, folks, fam, now we bought the flambe. So we got a little bit of bourbon, right? And we're going to put this in the pan like that you see that right there and always practice safety in the kitchen safety is always first right and safety over fun and now you plumb in now all that alcohol is cooked out and now you can deglaze that pan right there we're gonna add our ginger and our garlic now we're gonna cook this ginger and garlic until that garlic becomes fragrant. Now it's not gonna take a long time and you don't wanna burn it. Now then after it becomes fragrant, you wanna add in that bourbon sauce. 
So this is simmer for about 10 minutes and we're able to glaze that pan. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our slurry mixture into this. And this is gonna help this thicken up. Now you don't really have to use you know your slurry if you don't want to. You can let it reduce down naturally, but you know if you're impatient like me, just go ahead and use that slurry. Add our chicken in to the sauce, and it's smelling absolutely delicious. Now we just mix this chicken in and we'll let this continue to cook as it thickens up. And then, like I said, fam. We're in the game, but look at that color. It smells absolutely delicious. And once it thickens up, it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. Now fam, that sauce is now officially thickened up to where we want it to be. And look at that right there. That looks absolutely amazing. We're gonna remove this from the heat, but before we do, let me bring one up to you. Look at that right there. That looks absolutely delicious, fam. Now, we're gonna let this cool down, we're gonna plate it up, and we're in the game. Focus fam, there you have it. You got your absolutely delicious bourbon chicken. Let's look at it. Look at this right here. And you already know what we gotta do. We gotta get us a taste test. Just let me bring it up to the camera for you. And cheers. Mm. Now that flavor is absolutely amazing. Now I'm going back in for another piece. And again, look at that right there. Mm, mm, mm. That looks good. And it tastes absolutely delicious too. Now, if you're new to this channel and you like this content, go ahead and smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. For the people that's been rolling me for a while, hey, I appreciate you guys for all your support, all your kind words. And we'll see you guys on the next recipe. So I'm about to roll out and smash into this bourbon chicken. And we'll see you guys later. Peace.